Bill here with the Metals Minute. Today is Wednesday, July 6, 2022. Well, today we want to highlight how gold has been doing its job. You know, one of the historic places for gold is as a stability uh, in a portfolio. Gold is known to be relatively stable throughout all different types of financial and economic conditions. And gold is doing that very well and fulfilling that role in an excellent way. Now, all the details are in the write-up, but some would say, well, how is gold a, a good addition to a portfolio when the one-year number is down now 1%, and year-to-date gold is down 2%? Well, let's look at the relative performance of gold compared to many other types of assets. If we look at all the major U.S. stock indexes, and then we compare the worst of the metals year-to-date, which right now happens to be silver, down 15%, even silver at down 15 is performing has performed better so far in 2022 than the best performing stock index. So, and then when we compare uh, gold at minus two year to date, uh, compared to the double digit losses in stocks, and there's one other uh, fallacy that we've heard from those in the crypto community that Bitcoin was going to be the, the new replacement for gold, a digital replacement for gold and its role in a portfolio. Well, it's also been touted as an inflation hedge. Uh, year to date, it's minus 57%. So that's, uh, you know, the first way that you beat inflation is not by dropping 57%. And then with double-digit stock losses, bond markets are having historic losses. And in the midst of that, gold is relatively stable at minus two. And all of the setup for gold right now uh, points to the fact that uh, it, it's preparing to have a rally. All the significant numbers and metrics that uh, the performance of gold is gauged by, including historic performance in similar setups. So in a, in a time of unprecedented uncertainty and volatil volatility, gold is relatively stable. And that's what its job is, to prevent those major losses in a short amount of time and allow us time to accumulate more as we can before it has its rise, which is coming. And I expect that by the end of this year, uh, we'll have a nice, uh, we'll see a nice return for gold, especially compared to most other a asset classes out there. So don't be discouraged. Use these minor price reductions uh, that occasionally happen like now uh, to use as a buying opportunity. Keep in mind though, as the price drops on spot gold, the premiums rise for physical gold because there's a lot of physical demand. And even though the spot price is down uh, 4% for the week, uh, the metal price has not been much changed. In fact, the premium between the spot and the physical metal, for example, for a gold eagle, uh, there's, there's not a lot of difference in the physical price. So that shows us that there's a lot of demand for physical. And the reason is, it's the, uh, there's no other asset like it that it can be this stable in times of uncertainty. And there's also great growth potential. I believe we'll see that over the coming months. Thanks a lot for tuning in. We'll see you again soon. Have a great day.